good morning vlog welcome back to the youtube channel if you don't know who i am hi my name is lexi nice to meet you and today we are going apartment hunting we have um an apartment to look at in long beach and i need to go look at it at 10 30 it is now 9 30 and it's about a 30 minute drive from where i live so we are going to get this show on the road. I also want to do some coffee shop editing and planning and just take you along on my content day. Let me show you the outfit of the day and then we are going to get this show on the road and head over there. So <laughs> this is the simple, easy outfit of the day. I'm just wearing a white maxi skirt and then a black t-shirt with my obviously my signature heart necklace and my hoop earrings i'm gonna wear some red boots as well but with that being said let's go ahead and get on with the show <laughs> at this point in time i feel like you guys have seen my car more than anybody else in my life because every time i vlog i'm in my car but that is just the reality of living in california is that you basically live in your car and if i get the studio in long beach i will be in my car more than i already am because i work in anaheim and long beach is about a 18 miles from anaheim so we shall see if this apartment is meant for me or not but with that being said i'm gonna focus on driving i need to find the directions and figure out where i'm going so I will see you when we get to the apartment. Okay guys, we made it to Long Beach and we made it to the apartment and I am about to go in. I have 10 minutes to calm myself down and prepare, but something crazy just happened to me. So if you don't know me, I am a superstitious bitch. I love signs from the universe. I love omens. And one of my big omens in life is good things happen when it rains and I'm driving into the neighborhood and it starts sprinkling and I like I was like completely freaked out because I I love when it rains good things happen to me when it rains so I called my friend and I was like oh my god it's raining so hopefully this is for the best whether I get it or don't get it whether I like it or hate it it is all for the best because it rained and I'm so excited but I'm just calming myself down to get ready to see my very first apartment. This is the first apartment I've ever looked at. So I'm really excited to be able to experience this and to be able to have this moment in my life. I am super, super, super excited. I can't wait. I'm, I can't believe it rained. I feel on top of the world. I feel very, very excited about today. Only good things are happening to me. I wanted to give you guys a closer look at my makeup too. So I did just a... I did. I just did a very glowy makeup today and I used my Glossier Hydra Ultra Lip <laughs> Lip Shine. So that is what's on my lips and I feel very pretty today. So let's go ahead and look at my first studio apartment. I am so excited. You guys have no freaking idea, dude. I'm so excited. This is the look with the boots. I'm going apartment hunting. I'm so excited. I quite literally cannot wait to look at this apartment. First things I'm seeing is that uh, it is right across the street from a school. So that's gonna be a little obnoxious. Um, but other than that, the apartment is really cute. The neighborhood looks decent. So, we just are going to have to see if I like it or not. It's gorgeous. I just viewed my first apartment. It was so cute. It's a very small apartment, but it is kind of right up my alley. So I'm very excited. I'm gonna keep on looking, but this is 
so exciting. I can't believe this is my life. <laughs> ah, this is all the only thing, the only feeling I'm feeling is ah, because it was so cute. Um, I met with the leasing agent. His name was Jonathan. He was great. He was very nice. The apartment was so cute and it's, it's really small, but it's like a perfect first home for me. And it's not in a too bad neighborhood. I have definitely lived in worse neighborhoods in California. Um, I, it's, it's cute. The, okay, pros, cons. Pros is that it's a studio apartment and it's my own space. There was a perfect space for a podcast corner. I just saw it in my mind's eye. Um, pros is they pay for electricity as well as the um, Wi-Fi and internet. So that's perfect. Cons, it is right beside a middle school. So that's going to be a little loud um, whenever school's in. Uh, another con is on the first floor, which is kind of scary. I kind of hate living on the first floor. Um, but... It is very cute and I am very, very excited. I'm gonna put my application in and hopefully if I get approved, then we are all good to go. He said that the last person that rented out that space lived there for over a year and never had any complaints. Uh, it was very, very quiet once I was inside the apartment complex because it's a little loud on the street. Um, but once you're inside, it's, it's like dead silent. So that'll be perfect for my podcast and I, I'm kind of liking this. I, I think I really, really like it. Like it makes my heart happy. So we will see. I am so excited. Whatever happens, happens and it is for the best, but I am really excited. This was just a cool experience to experience to begin with because this is my first time apartment hunting. So with that being said, it is time to find a coffee shop, do some editing, do some work, and maybe create some content for today because we are back in business, baby. We are back full swing in Lucky Girl Lexi mode and we are creating our content again. So thank you for coming along with me on my freaking journey of looking for apartments. I cannot be more grateful that you are here, but let's calm down and let's find a freaking uh, coffee shop to go to. As we well know, obviously, I don't know how to drive. So I was just driving down PCH and I was like, oh, I'll hit, um, I'll hit Huntington eventually and then I just go up and then I'm back in Santa Ana. Uh, I was going the opposite way and I got to Seal Beach and I was like, that, that doesn't seem right. So I have now turned around and now I'm going back to Santa Ana to go to my coffee shop to edit and get some work done. We're going to get some content, but as I was driving around, I was getting pretty excited about the prospect of living in Long Beach. And let me list why I would be excited to live in Long Beach. It's a very um, urban dense place, so it's very much... LA, New York, that type of vibe. So I I really do like that. I truly enjoy that. The obvious downside to that is um, obviously like pollution's bad. Their crime rates are a little bit higher. But Long Beach is so cool. And the place that I was thinking, the place that I just viewed, it's right by the aquarium. And I love aquariums. So um, I definitely have a lot to think on of whether this place is right for me or not. It is a tad out of my budget. It, it will be $1,300 a month and then with all the, the added fees, like parking is like $45, um, you know, so forth and so on, sewage, um, trash collection, all that stuff, boring stuff. I think in total it would be like $1,500 a month which is a lot. Um, not saying I wouldn't be able to do it. I would just most likely either need to up my hours at work or get a second job to afford it, but it's just whatever. At the traffic lights, use the right lane to merge onto I-405 South. Nice. Yes, my, my GPS does have an Australian accent. Don't 
question it. Um, but yeah, so if I do end up getting this place, I turn right. <laughs> if I do end up getting this place, I will have to um, up my what is it? What I make, I would have to make more essentially. But it's very cute. I just don't know if it's right for Lexi right now or for Lexi in the future. Um, but either way, it was very exciting to see it and to be able to experience it. You know, like going apartment hunting is so cool and it was really cool that I got to experience that. I do have like a couple goals in life of what I want to do and one of them is I want to eventually move to New York so I feel like Long Beach is the first step in really getting that feel of um, like urban living essentially. because my car's a little dirty. And then at 5.30, I have a, another viewing for a um, for a room. So I would have a roommate. Um, and that's in Walnut, which is this way in the Inland Empire. So I might just figure it out and um, maybe spend the day in Claremont and get some good shots. But I did get some content at the coffee shop that is super cute. So that is pretty much what my day is consisting of. This is just the reality of who I am whenever I create content is that I am pretty much scattered the entire day. I go here and then I go there and then I decide I don't wanna do this and then I decide I do wanna do this, but this matcha has been holding up and it is definitely a 10 out of 10. If you've never tried the coffee bean matcha, you are seriously, truthfully missing out. Um, what I get is a oat milk matcha latte. Uh, I get a pump of vanilla in it as well. So it makes it just very sweet, very creamy. It's perfect. Um, but anyways, I just wanted to give you that update and then we will see what I'm doing from there. But today has really been a fun day and it feels very good to express my emotions and finally let my best friend know what's been going on in my life. We've been like much needed debriefing sesh. So uh, I'm really happy I talked to her. But anyways, okay, I will see you in a bit. I am gonna rest for a little bit. Um, probably finish watching La La Land. And that is my question of the day for you guys. When you do your makeup, when you get ready, do you watch something or listen to music? And if you watch something, what are you watching right now? Because right now I am watching La La Land for the first time and it's really, really good. Um, so I'm probably gonna sit here and watch La La Land before I get ready to go to IE and create content in Claremont before I view the apartment at 5.30. So my day is definitely scattered and really weird, but thank you for coming along on this random day in my life because as we know, all my days in my life are random. But anyways, I'm gonna chill here for a little bit, rest, and then get ready to go to Claremont. Okay guys, so I decided to change my shirt because it is super hot in California right now. We're going through a heat wave. And I wanted to talk to you guys about kind of what I've been going through. I think you can kind of tell in the videos, if you follow my Instagram or you follow the podcast, you can kind of tell that something has been shifting in my life. and. I'm not the same Lexi I was when I first started this. So 
I want to be very vulnerable with you guys about where I'm at in my content and my career and where my passions are at. The truth is that life has been very, very hard lately. It's been very scary with all these changes. Um, moving, I, I get nauseous thinking about moving because it's going to be so much work. Um, I get nauseous thinking about um, th these big changes in my life and I don't know what they, they mean for me. I don't know where I'm going to be at next month and that's really, really scary to say. And with that, every time I think about how much life is changing within this month, month and a half, I get really, really scared and I want to climb inside myself and not create content because I just, I, I can't even imagine where I'm going to be at. So I almost self-sabotage, but I love creating content for you guys. This is my entire life. It's what I genuinely enjoy doing. It is my career. It is my future. Um, it's just really hard to put down the heavy stuff to make way for silly little vlogs and our silly little reels on Instagram. Um, life almost feels unrealistic right now and I, I don't want to take a break at all because creating content is what makes me happy. Um, but. I want to continue to give myself grace that if I need a week off then I deserve a week off and I can't be mad at myself for needing some time to be with myself because I'm, I'm growing as a human, I'm really changing and evolving and I'm becoming a different version of who I once was and I think personally it's a better version. I'm becoming happier and understanding life a little bit better and even though I've gone through some really really hard things in the past like week or two they are still reasons to smile because i have grown from them and they have given me knowledge that i would not have prior to this so i want to apologize if i haven't really been on my game with content and i've been kind of slow to um keep my life where it's at and i've been kind of slow to show you guys that I want this, that I'm all in for this because I do want to continue working towards this. This is what I love doing, but even like right now talking to you guys and looking at my background, looking at my room and knowing that it's not going to be my room next month is really scary to say and really scary to admit, but everything happens for a reason and I am the luckiest girl in the world, as we well know, my lucky girl tattoo says it all. So I'm trying to remain positive and trying to remain happy lucky girl Lex, but once again, the key word is grace. So if I do need to give myself grace to be sad or be hurt, that is completely okay. But I did want to be vulnerable and share that with you guys because you guys are my family and you guys really deserve to know what's going on in my life. So I want to say thank you for supporting me. Thank you for sharing my story with your friends. Thank you for sharing the podcast with your friends. Um, everything that I do is for you guys and you guys are the reason for my success and the reason I am gonna have my dream life. So I want to say thank you so much. You guys are amazing. Um, but yeah, that's a vulnerable talk. I think I keep on seeing it in every vlog that I post is like, well, I want to do this. I want to do this. I want to do this. And then I get inside my head and even like right now, the thought of driving to Claremont, it's like an hour and a half drive. Um, I don't know how well I'm going to be sitting in traffic for an hour and a half. Uh, I don't know how mentally I'm going to feel about that because I, I know I'll just get in my head and get anxiety and get anxious. But I do want to tell you guys, I have been seeking help and I am going to a therapist. I have yet to book my first appointment, but I know who my therapist is going to be. Um, something really cool is that my job covers some of my therapy sessions. Um, so I am reaching out for help. I am okay. I think therapy is really important and therapy is great when you need it and talking to a licensed therapist is really really good when you need it. Um, I've always been very very vocal about struggling with my anxiety and my depression so 
I'm very excited to talk to somebody who can give me an elevated perspective on how I'm feeling and give me some pointers of how to regulate that and how to understand. I am really proud of myself because last night I did my full meditation and manifesting ritual, which I haven't done um, in a couple months actually. So I, I definitely am on the up and up again. I'm getting better, but that's all I wanted to tell you. I wanted to share that with you. I don't know if I'm going to end up going to Claremont or if I do something else, but I will update you right now. It feels really good to just rest and um, kind of just be on my phone and not really pay attention to the world. I might journal in a little bit, but yeah, that's what I've been going through. So I love you and thank you for listening to me. See you in a bit. Back in the car. Um, it has been a couple hours of sitting there wallowing <laughs> not really wallowing i journaled i created a little bit of content i posted on instagram and tiktok which is like i haven't done it in like a month so i'm so proud of myself um but now i have that room to view in walnut um it's about an hour drive because it is traffic right now so i'm gonna listen to good music i am gonna remind myself to take deep breaths and that today is gonna be all good this is my <laughs> my buddy with me lately i've been holding on to stuffed animals um whenever i feel anxious so he has just been in my car so bingo is is my car buddy for today but anyways i am gonna get my directions and head over to walnut maybe i'll show you a little sneak peek of that but this is somebody else's house so i don't really know <laughs> make this quick because I am late to meet the person with the um, room but I just made it I am gonna go check it out and see if I like it and I will give you guys an update so I will give you a debrief of the place that I looked at when I get home but I have been feeling very anxious today and I am going through a heartache so I decided to get ice cream. I don't know which one I'm gonna get, but I think Ben and Jerry's is really calling my name. I think the only correct answer is chocolate chip cookie dough, right? Like that's that's what heals our heartache, right? So I think that's the vibe. Uh, chocolate chip cookie dough. I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna debrief you guys and take off my makeup. Okay, lucky girls, let's debrief while I take off my makeup and get ready to wallow for the next couple hours. So, um, the place I just visited, it was very pretty in a beautiful neighborhood. Um, it looked very, very safe. Um, it was in a great place. It's a little far away from where I work, but it is only two roommates instead of the three that I have now. Um, the bedroom's a little smaller, but we have a backyard. Um, the house itself is smaller than the place I'm living at now, but um, it's really pretty and it's really tidy. So honestly, I really like it. The only problem would be the location. I hate that I'm getting farther from my work, but it's okay. It's also very inexpensive. Um, it's essentially the same that I'm paying now, um, just like $25 more, which is completely fine for me. Um, I really like it. Um, I have one more place that I'm viewing on Thursday, maybe Friday, and then I am going to make my decision then. I really, 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 really like the studio apartment. Um, I just don't know if that's in the cards for me right now because it's super expensive. I would have to get a second job. Um, so I, I don't know. I'm just going to listen to the universe and listen to my gut. Something that I've been seeing quite literally all day, all day, all day, literally is three through three, which means that your spirit guides are with you and everything will be all right. Um, just listen to your gut and trust that things are working out in your favor. So um, today overall has been a good day, but it's also been an incredibly anxious day. 
Um, I have been feeling like this knot in my stomach. I've been feeling nauseous. Um, we had that talk about how I've been feeling in life recently. Uh, it's just things are really heavy in my life right now. And I feel like I don't have a ton of people to talk to it with. But that's why I have a therapist. And that is why um, I'm going to schedule an appointment with her tomorrow to kind of talk about what I've been feeling. Uh, I don't want you guys to worry. I'm literally fine. <laughs> it's just, you know, sometimes life gets hard, but you need the rain so you can grow, so you can blossom into something better. So with that being said, I'm going to allow myself to be sad. I am going to sit in my room eating ice cream and watching Gilmore Girls, and then I will edit this vlog, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for being here and supporting this YouTube channel. Make sure you're subscribing and liking and commenting as always. I love you guys and I cannot wait to see you guys in the next one. Bye.